Okay beauties, so to do this design you are going to need your favourite nail nerd gel polish. I'm using leather and lace but you can use whatever colour you like. You'll need top coat, your TNN gel paint, you'll also need your JGM Pro Series brushes in both gel art and liner and you will also need an LED lamp to cure it all. We want to begin by applying our favourite shade of Nail Nerd Gel Polish to the entire nail surface, being sure to keep your application thin and you're going to want to cure it for one minute in between each coat. It's really important that we've got a nice smooth surface to work on so please go ahead and apply one thin layer of matte top coat and cure it for one minute in your LED lamp. Right, moving right along, step one. We want to paint the letter Y. Okay, that is going to, that's the first step to creating our daisies and this is what's going to keep us on track to painting a gorgeous daisy when all of the petals are in proportion. From there you're going to want to switch over to your gel art brush, okay, and we want to load it up with a little bit of gel paint just on the tip of it. So to create the petals we are going to follow the guidelines we just put in by loading your brush Press down at the end, and then as you drag down the line, you're easing up on your pressure. So one more time, load your brush, press down at the end of the line, drag up the line, easing off your pressure. See, how easy is that? Now you just wanna go in between each petal and create another one right in the middle. And once you have finished putting in your first layer of petals, we want to just throw it into the LED lamp and give it a cure of 30 seconds. Apply one layer of top coat over top of the whole nail, cure it for one minute. This is going to give our daisy depth and because of doing this, you are going to be able to see a real difference in the way that the petals look and that our top petals are going to look like they are actually a little bit more 3D than what they are. All right, step two. We just go in between all of the petals from the first layer and we're just going to put another layer of petals in. We're doing exactly the same thing as we did before, Beauty. We re-dip, load our brush, we press down in the middle of the two petals below, we ease up our pressure and drag that petal towards the center. Okay, one more time. Push down, ease up, dragging towards the center. And then we're gonna to need to re-cure it for another 30 seconds in your LED lamp. All right, so step three is all about the center of the flower. We're gonna first create a beige colored circle in the center of the flower, and then without curing it, while the gel paint is still wet, we're just going to sprinkle bits of yellow throughout the tan. Okay, so just dot it through and then cure it for 30 seconds in your LED lamp. So step four is all about creating depth within the flower. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to pick up some darker brown using our liner brush and we are just going to sprinkle that brown right around the outside of the center part of the flower and right at the base of the petals. So what we need to do is make sure that you're not putting them in a straight line. Make sure that they are actually placed really randomly, okay? And then what we're going to do is wipe any excess product off our brush. We don't want any product on our brush at this point, guys. And then we're simply going to drag our brush through the gel that's on the nail. And we're actually just going to drag it around the outside of the top petals, 
okay so at this point we're sort of like not really worrying about going through the back pedals we're just going to be dragging it through the top pedals so what that does is again it just gives us the illusion that there's a shadowing behind the top pedal which again is going to add to the effect of our daisy being a little bit more realistic um, and that there's distance in between the, t uh, the top pedals and the bottom pedals so once you have gone around the outside and just gently dragged that gel through and up around those pedals, now we just do tiny wee little strokes through the rest of the little gel. But you want to make sure that you're doing it still quite randomly. There is no such thing as perfection in nature. So some of these strokes will be long, some will be short, some they're not going to be exactly, you know, spaced evenly. They're, they're going to be spaced unevenly. Um, and we can continue right around the flower until we have brushed through all of those initial spots that we placed upon the flower. Okay, my loves, so the fifth and final step is highlighting. So what we're going to do now is we pick up small beads of white and we're just going to scatter a little bit more white through that center part of the flower, just inside of the brown shadows, okay? And then front, once we've done that, we're just going to add white to the top outside parts of the petals. Okay, we don't want to highlight any of the bottom petals. Again, we're only going to be focused on those petals that we, we painted on the top. Okay, and we just put those at random places through the flower. But remember not to make each petal a mirror image of the one before it, guys. It's going to look a lot better and a lot more authentic uh, if they're a little bit random. So change it up. So don't put, and don't put the same highlight on every single petal. But that is it my loves, I told you you would be painting this realistic daisy with five easy steps. So the only thing left to do now is to just continue around all of the top petals with your highlight. Once you've highlighted all of your petals we're going to pop it back in the LED lamp for another 30 seconds to cure. That just leaves us one more thing to do and that's the top coat. So one final coat and then we're going to give that a cure for one minute in the LED lamp. And that's it. We are done. I hope you like it and I hope you've had fun today. I know that I have. So thank you so much for joining me. And if you have enjoyed it today, make sure you come back next week. So hit the subscribe button. That way you'll get all the reminders every time we upload a new video. I can't wait to see you again real soon. Bye.